Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to look at the treatment of one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases, syphilis. Syphilis is a disease caused by the organism Treponema pallidum and most often spreads through sexual contact. Syphilis affects both males and females and is a chronic infection. This means it lasts for a very long duration of time. We need to understand a bit about the stages of syphilis because the treatment is slightly different for different stages. Primary syphilis is the first stage which mainly affects the genital area. Secondary syphilis is the most infectious stage where individuals may be asymptomatic. Tertiary syphilis or late stage syphilis lasts for several years and may be debilitating and fatal. Latent or hidden syphilis shows no characteristic signs or symptoms. Congenital syphilis is passed down from an infected mother to the fetus through the transplacental route. If you want to learn more about the signs and symptoms of each stage, check out the link below. There are no home remedies or over-the-counter drugs that will cure syphilis, but syphilis is easy to treat in its early stages. To treat syphilis, no matter which stage, Penicillin G is the drug of choice. It is used in its long-acting form and needs to be administered parenterally, most often through the intravenous or intramuscular route. For different stages, the preparation, dosage and length of treatment greatly differs, so a proper diagnosis is important. Treating tertiary and latent syphilis require a longer duration of therapy. A single intramuscular injection of long-acting benzathine penicillin will cure a person who has primary, secondary or early latent syphilis. Three doses of long-acting benzathine penicillin at weekly intervals is recommended for individuals with late latent syphilis or latent syphilis of unknown duration. Treatment will kill the syphilis bacterium and prevent further damage but it will not repair the damage already done. Remember, selection of the appropriate penicillin preparation is important to make sure the infection is properly cured. Penicillin G is the only known effective antimicrobial for treating fetal infection and preventing congenital syphilis. No proven alternatives to penicillin are available for treatment of syphilis during pregnancy. Preparations like oral benzathine penicillin and procaine penicillin should not be used. T. pallidum or the causative organism of syphilis can reside in sequestered sites such as our central nervous system. These drugs are not able to reach these hidden organisms and not effective for the treatment of syphilis. For individuals that are allergic to penicillin, tetracycline is used to desensitize them before administering penicillin. It is important to remember that tetracycline cannot be administered during the second and third trimester of pregnancy. Penicillin has been crowned as the most effective treatment of syphilis through clinical trials as well as through decades of clinical experience. To prevent syphilis, it is recommended to be monogamous or avoid multiple sexual partners. It is advisable to use a condom and always practice safe sex. Avoid the use of recreational drugs, which can transmit syphilis through contaminated needles. I hope this video taught you something useful about the treatment of syphilis. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.